Alrighty, I have a pretty packed construction update for you guys and some serious speculation that's gonna start on 2023. Um, for those of you that have watched my channel over the last three months, you'll know that we have started speculating on a 2023 coaster coming to Canada's Wonderland. Um, and we're starting to hear more serious rumblings as well as seeing some evidence of its possible location. About two weeks ago, we saw some small evidence of its location and now we're seeing some much greater evidence involving uh, a Rutherford construction, which does things like the footings for Yukon Striker. But nonetheless, as you just saw, Timber Kits is on site doing the patio next to the Pizza Pizza on either end uh, in Splashworks. So that's gonna look absolutely amazing. Love the fact that Wonderland and Cedar Fair are investing in uh, just enhancing the overall image of Canada's Wonderland. Now in the footage uh, that you are seeing, you're gonna see construction vehicles all around um, specific areas. So definitely keep an eye on that because I have to be extremely careful on what I say moving forward about certain things involving Canada's Wonderland and 2023. With that being said, headed on over to the restaurant um, and the new Fastlane building, which by the way, I find really fascinating. The Fastlane building is larger than the Cookie Witch building. Thought it would have been vice versa. Um, I'm kind of a little bummed out that the Cookie Witch building isn't like the original one. I really hope they do make it a Canadian theme, but the Coke Refresh and the Cookie Witch, I'm not sure are going to be fully Canadian theme. They look pretty generic to me right now, but who knows? Maybe when they install the lumber on them, it'll look better. But nonetheless, the restaurant um, is just adding, I believe, the roofing. Um, the two stories is that basement level and then that upper level there. It's not gonna have a third story. So what you see is what you're gonna get in terms of height. Um, but I also think that will be Timber Kits, if I'm not mistaken, but I could be wrong about that. But I do think Timber Kits has their hand involved in a lot of the projects at Canada's Wonderland moving forward. Um, I think we're heading into, ex oh, not yet. The next clips are gonna be exciting. But yeah, this is just an overall shot of the uh, construction areas. You can see there's some guy there taking photos <laughs> on this site. But yeah, nonetheless, uh, I'm, I'm kind of excited. And like I said, Wonderland is really just what looked like they weren't gonna have done anything, they end up coming through and just everything starts coming together. I actually find it really funny because it seems to be a yearly thing where the park looks like it's not gonna be ready in time and then suddenly it is. Obviously the restaurant's not gonna be ready in time, but then it ends. Uh, being so. So as you can see right here, you have the Rutherford construction car, um, some new porta potties, a storage container, which has been there for quite some time. So that's not involved in the thing, or if it was, it's just arrived earlier. Um, but you have the new construction trailer parked here, facing the forest with two porta potties that have arrived. And in my other shot, you're going to see a weird marking out in the forest as well. We don't know if it's a pylon or a really big, um, just marking, but that's just an area you're gonna wanna pay attention to. Um, something I want to bring up, and I wanna just insert here that this is mere speculation for your thought. What I'm about to say is not concrete um, and not final and not certain, and I do not know this for sure, so I am just insinuating that I am not leaking something right here. I am just putting food for thought into your brain right now. So for those of you that follow Grace Peacock on Twitter, you know that she was recently at California's Great America on a trip as a marketing, head of marketing for Canada's Wonderland. And she was posting about Railblazer and obviously just around. I do not recall any other park officials being at CGA for this trip. It was just Grace and CGA. So seed number one, keep that in your mind. Seed number two, you're gonna notice on recent posts that Rocky Mountain Construction has been liking a lot of Canada's Wonderland's posts on various social medias. Seed number two planted. With those two seeds and Canada's Wonderland having pretty low attendance and being affected by COVID so greatly, uh, you, one would assume that Cedar Fair might need to uh, invest in Canada's Wonderland with a cheaper but something that would draw in a lot of people. And those single rails, despite their capacity, seem to be the perfect thing to draw in a crowd. Um, I think that, you know, it does have lower capacity, but I think a single rail coaster would be a perfect addition for Canada's Wonderland to invest in to get the people back into the park. Easy to market, gorgeous, stunning, fits into Frontier Canada very easily, takes up a very minimal plot of land, um, and just something like Paramount did back in the day during the other virus. I forget what I'm thinking about, but um, they had to invest to get people back into the park. And I think Cedar Fair is looking at the same thing. There are also 
around the same price as a pretty pricey flat ride. So I think that's definitely in Cedar Fair's realm of things to do. You've seen them invest in 4D flying coasters or 4D free spins, sorry. Um, so I definitely think that's something Cedar Fair could be looking into, but I'm not saying anything concrete, just placing a couple seeds in your guy's head for now. With that being said, we still have one more area that we really need to keep our eyes on, and we will let you guys know this Saturday what that area could be. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully you're having an amazing week. Thanks for watching uh, my channel and supporting us. Have a good one, guys. Bye.